Chalky milk, you want some? Don't spill it, don't spill it. What was I saying? What are we doing? I don't know. I do know, actually. But first I need to tell you a story, okay? A story about this tube of paint. Invigorating, I'm aware. See this tube of paint? See it? Um, I've worked with this brand before and it's really good. I have a white paint in this um, exact brand and it's fine. But this one is semi-opaque. And I didn't realize that until after I bought it. My bad, my bad. A reminder to all of you out there to check your paint tubes before you buy them. And then you might be stuck with the blue that you have to use twice as much to get just as far. What I can say is that it reminds me a lot of ketchup. So I'll like squeeze it out onto my palette and there'll be like a main little puddle of color and then like watery stuff around the color. And every time I use it, I just think like, mm, blue ketchup. It's not a great paint, but it did get me to thinking, what if I did use ketchup to paint? So that is exactly what we are doing today. I have a lot of ketchup that I have stolen from the dining hall over the past week or so, and some mustard that I stole as well. And we're going to be trying them out and see how they work as painting mediums and see how that goes for me. Okay, so apropos of nothing and has to do with absolutely anything, but did we know that Ed Sheeran has a ketchup tattoo for no reason other than the fact that he just really loves ketchup? In fact, he was in this one ad just, just for Heinz ketchup. His style of tattoos are patchwork tattoos where you just get anything you want all over your body and I think patchwork tattoos are really ugly, but that's beside the point. One of his tattoos just so happens to be a Heinz bottle of ketchup and I think that's really stupid. I don't like Ed Sheeran, I don't like his stupid face, and I don't like his stupid music, but that is a complete divergence of what we're we're talking about today. Okay, so obviously we are painting with ketchup, but first we should probably acknowledge what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is a circle shading exercise. If you've ever been in a beginning art class or have been a beginning artist at some point, you probably are familiar with this. We make it light on one corner, you make it dark in the other corner, and it's just an exercise that we give to beginning art students to teach them how to shade. It's also really great for trying out a new medium for the first time. Obviously, I'm not a beginning art student, although some might like to argue that I am. I I am doing the shading circle exercise to figure out how dark the ketchup is going to look to understand how dark I can get something to push the values inside the piece of art that I will be making with the ketchup. Now, I wasn't super excited about having to work with mustard. I don't like mustard on my food. I don't like smelling mustard. I don't like when I have to sit by people who have mustard on their stuff but I was willing to work with it for this project so I cut open the little packet of mustard and I squeeze them out on my palette and it was disgusting. It was chunky, it was not yellow, and when I swatched it in the little circle shading exercise, it, it, it didn't even layer well. It didn't have any contrast between the first layer, the second layer, or any layer higher than that. It was an awful painting medium. So not only does it suck as a food item, but it also sucks as paint. So mustard has really just failed us as a society. Therefore, why mustard will not be making an appearance in the final project that I'm painting. Onto the final product that I am painting, I basically needed a reference photo that only had two values, light and slightly darker than light. I don't have really great control over the ketchup and the shading with the ketchup, so I need something that's gonna be instantly recognizable and only has two values because I don't have great control of the ketchup. Also something worth noting is that when I'm painting with the ketchup, and I figured this out with my little shading circle exercise, so glad that I did that by the way, is that it leaves little flecks of tomato bit behind so that whatever you're painting looks kind of like speckledy. Of course, I ended up deciding to paint this lily. Um, a, because lilies are kind of speckled and the tomato texture will look fine. And B, it's recognizable even though I don't have great control of my values. This project did come out better than I was expecting it to, although I did not account for the fact that the drying time of ketchup and the drying time of paint are radically different. I kept having to hit it with the hair dryer so it would actually dry and not have to wait hours and hours in between each layer. Because as it turns out, ketchup does not like to dry. So fun fact for you there. But all in all, this definitely went better than I thought it was going to. Give myself a little pat pat on the back. Hi, Editor Buffy here. Um, I don't know where to put this, so I'm just gonna put this in now. It's been two days since I painted the original ketchup painting, and I just wanted to say the entire thing is like lighter than when I painted it. The values are closer together, and it's like not as deep as a red as when I was first painting it. Not that that has any significant impact on literally anything. I just thought you should know. Okay, I'll butt out now. Sorry. Miss me? Chris did. This one better than I expected. I do wish the little like tomato bits weren't like giving it a speckled texture, but all in all, I think I can live with that. I give this, uh, I give this three out of five bats. It's not a bad rating. Would I recommend doing this at home? Uh, sure. Why not? Knock yourself out. Nothing, uh, nothing inherently dangerous or wrong about it.
If you uh, enjoyed this video, you could interact with it. That really does help the channel. And something that I did want to ask people who are like returning subscribers, I wanted to know basically what you guys like. So please tell me in the comments, um, what of my content do you guys like? What do you not like? What should I do more of? What should I do less of? What should I include in the future that I haven't done before? I also wanted to apologize for the quick video. I am working on a big project. It's looking at me right now. I'm working on a, on a bigger-ish project. Emphasis on big. And it's gonna, it's gonna take me a while to finish. But once I am done with it, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love it. So I think it'll be worthwhile. As always, I will be back next Sunday with something new for you guys. Um, I love you and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is forty-two.